Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror film, The Human Centipede, Part 3. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film starts with a man named Bill watching a human centipede film in his office. As the movie ends, his accountant asks him what he thinks about the film. Bill comments negatively. On the contrary, Daisy, who is busy cutting Bill's smelly toenails, answers that she liked the film, but also jokes about Bill's preferences in movies. This angers Bill, and he reminds her that it is unacceptable for women to express their opinions. Bill sees accountant smiling. Bill questions accountant about it. Accountant answers that he might just have a solution to all their problems with their job when he's interrupted by a phone call. Bill answers the call, and he's informed about a code 6 in block 4. This frustrates Bill because it's not the first time it's happened, and he curses out loud. The next scene reveals Bill as a prison warden somewhere in New Mexico. He and accountant are walking along the prison corridors, discussing the place having a higher personnel turnover, violence rates, legal and medical costs than any other institution in the U.S. correctional system. Accountant reminds Bill that they will have to do something about this, otherwise they will get replaced by the governor. He pitches his idea again, but gets ignored by Bill, who is talking trash to an inmate that's been bad-mouthing him in his cell. The two proceed to where they are called, and they see an officer getting treated on the floor as he has been assaulted by an inmate. Bill reminds the doctor that he needs his checkup in an hour, then proceeds to where the inmate responsible for the attack is. Bill throws slurs at the inmate. He decides to torment him, exposing the bone and inflicting excruciating pain. He gets stopped by accountant, so Bill threatens the inmate, saying that when his bones recover, he swears to do it once more. Later on, Bill gets disrespected by every inmate in their cell, when all unite to shout that he deserves death rape. This makes Bill furious, making him shoot his gun around, shouting that he deserves respect. After a while, Bill and accountant are back in their office. Bill checks his blood pressure and gets annoyed by the result. He opens up a bottle of alcohol as accountant opens up about his idea again, but Bill shuts him up, saying that they should bring back the medieval torture methods, and lists some of them. Daisy knocks on the door and gives a package to Bill. He discloses to accountant that it is a jar of specially produced, dried female organ pickles that he consumes for strength. Bill receives a call later. When Bill answers it, he's met with a threat that his death squad is coming to kill him, and this sets panic in Bill. He pushes Daisy out and locks his door, hiding under his desk, saying that the call is real this time, implying that this isn't the only time he'd been threatened on the phone. Accountant is unperturbed by what he is seeing and calls back the line. An officer answers and tells him that an inmate decided to prank Bill by using his family phone call. So he informs Bill about the fake call. Bill goes to his physical checkup in the clinic. He doesn't want any bad news delivered to him about his condition, so he slightly scares the doctor, who then replies that he is in perfect condition. Later that day, accountant is seen in a cell with the inmate who pranked Bill, strapped on a table. As Bill arrives, he asks two officers to get him boiling water, but Daisy reminds Bill that the governor will be arriving soon, prompting Bill to instruct Daisy to see if she can make the governor touch her smelly butt so he can be sued for sexual harassment. Once the boiling water is delivered, Bill places a towel on the inmate's face and proceeds to pour three buckets of boiling water on the face, severely disfiguring him. The inmate says that Bill has already lost his soul. In the next scene, the governor arrives at Bill's office. Daisy's hormone advances are rejected when the governor just boots her nose and walks up to sit in front of Bill. They talk about the state of the prison, with the governor disciplining Bill for his resorting to violence to fight back violence. He says that Bill has managed to damage his image in an election year. The governor announces that he'll be back in two weeks. By then, he expects changes in the prison, or else Bill and accountant will get replaced. When the governor exits the place, Bill suddenly starts shouting dirty words at him. After that, Bill breaks down in his office as he's stressed about being the warden. Accountant wants to pitch his idea, but again gets wrapped up in calming down Bill instead. Bill doesn't care that he's irresponsible, he still wants to do things his way. He then commands accountant to send the prisoners into the yard under the scorching heat. As usual, the prisoners are loud and don't listen to whatever Bill is saying on the megaphone. Most of them quiet down when he say that one of them will be chosen to get castrated. He picks the inmate that was bad-mouthing Bill from earlier. He operates on castrating the inmate himself and covers his face with the blood of the inmate, ordering an officer to cook the inmate's dragon balls so he could eat them for lunch. Later back in his office, Bill is receiving pleasure from Daisy while accountant is in the room. Daisy mistakes the dried female organs for candy and eats one. Lunch comes around and the cooked dragon balls are brought to Bill as he calls it his energy food. 
Bill visits the prisoners in the clinic and examines the inmate that he personally castrated. He tells the doctor that tomorrow, they'd start a mass castration on everyone. He is then once again threatened by the castrated prisoner as accountant tells him that Bill's idea won't ultimately work. Bill chokes the inmate to death and commands the doctor to resuscitate the man, only to choke him again for the second time. Bill leaves the clinic as accountant orders the doctor to watch the human centipede films from Daniel CC Movie Channel. The doctor replies that he's seen them already, also commenting that they're good films. Accountant is fully prepared to provide Bill with his plan when Bill comes back to their office. Bill is upset that his castration program doesn't work, and this angers accountant as Bill has been listening to him for the past days. Accountant finally reveals his idea, telling Bill that all of the convicts should be stitched together mouth to anus to make a huge human centipede, arguing that it will be the greatest deterrent for anyone seeking a life of crime. Bill ridicules his idea, saying that it's impossible, but Accountant retorts and tells Bill that Daisy has spoken with the film's director, who has said that it is medically accurate. They both argue back and forth until Bill fires Accountant. Accountant tells Bill that he used to idolize him and even grew his mustache to look like him. He proceeds to insult Bill before leaving the office. Bill screams in a chicken voice, caused by his hatred of human beings. He grabs his megaphone and shouts all kinds of slurs to the prisoners, even when no one is there to hear him in the yard. After that, Bill experiences a nightmare in which he is assaulted by a group of prisoners. Bill displays signs of weakness in front of them, but is ignored. He is then abused in the kidney by the prisoner he castrated. When Bill wakes up in his office, he is called to announce the arrival of the director. Accountant comes back and asks that Bill listen to his idea one last time, and if he still doesn't like it, he will quit on his own. The discussion starts. The director gives out a detailed operation report that a surgeon from Amsterdam has made for him to show just how medically accurate and possible the human centipede is. The doctor analyzes it and agrees with the director. He proceeds to explain how the centipede can work, and this finally convinces Bill to start with the program. Accountant modifies the operation that will be done to the prisoners. It only results in light scaring to the mouth and anus, as they still need to be released after their sentence. The director consents to the prison using his human centipede concept as long as he's allowed to observe the procedure. Bill decides that they should make the prisoners watch the human centipede film on their monthly film night and then inform them of their fate. Accountant opposes the thought and tells them they should do the operation, keeping the inmates oblivious. That same day, the prisoners watch the films, expressing different violent reactions to them. As Bill and Accountant go in front of them, getting their attention by firing shocks in the air, Bill tells about his plan to make them the first prison centipede and starts degrading the prisoners. A riot begins, and the two run away to escape. Officers try to stop the inmates, but they are having trouble with them being so many. On the other hand, Bill and Accountant go back to their office. Daisy is scared and asks them what's happening. Bill pushes her again outside to lock the door of their office. Outside the door, some of the prisoners Bill had involved himself in try to break down his door, where one inmate knocks Daisy down. Bill jumps down from his window and is in the yard. Finally, backup arrives and manages to herd all the prisoners in place. Once the situation is calmed down, accountant finds Bill and tells him that Daisy is extremely hurt because of the riot. Bill doesn't care and tells him to bring the medical team from him. Bill walks into the middle of the yard and announces that it'll be hell on earth to a flying eagle. Later, Bill prepares the prisoners for the operation by tranquilizer shooting each convict, as accountant watches him with a smile on his face. Bill celebrates as he watches guards pick up the unconscious inmates from their cells. After that, the scene cuts to the medical ward, where Bill explains on his megaphone about the detailed operation that will be done on the inmates. Accountant is curious about what Bill plans to do with prisoners who have life sentences and are on death row. Bill answers that he should wait and wonder. The doctor asks Bill what they will do with an inmate who constantly has diarrhea. Bill happily says that the inmate we castrated will be the person attached behind this man. The doctor then tells him of another inmate with a stoma and another who is disabled, both not compatible with the operation. Bill shoots the guy with a stoma and kills him, followed by another shot to the head for the inmate with the disability. The next day, they visit Daisy. Accountant begins talking about her fondly. He tells Bill that she should be admitted to a real hospital, but Bill declines his proposition, saying that he wants her close to him. Bill starts unbuckling his belt, but Accountant pleads with him not to do anything to Daisy. Accountant admits to him that he loves Daisy, but is met with the degradation on Bill's end. After that, not knowing what to do, Accountant peeks on the curtains as Bill forces himself on a still unconscious Daisy. 
Later on, Bill and Accountant are in the warden's office. He wants Accountant to make sure that the human centipede will take place in the yard, where the governor can see it the moment he comes to the prison. Accountant updates Bill that the operation is almost complete. The two role-play in the office, with Bill acting like the governor. Bill keeps complimenting himself, while Accountant reminds him that he was the one who thought of the idea, but Bill disregards him. Later, Bill and Accountant are waiting for the director, when he visits the prison again. While exploring the cells, the group comes across a mentally ill prisoner who is consuming his own feces and desires to be sewed into the centipede. Bill shoots the inmate to death multiple times because he doesn't want anyone to take pleasure in the human centipede punishment. The three then go to where the operation is happening. The director observes the procedure as Bill and accountant watch, but throws up after watching the death row inmates being mutilated for a so-called special project. When the governor shows up, the 500-person centipede is already finished. He is curious as to why Bill and accountant look so pleased with themselves when they're about to get fired. Bill explains what they've done to make the changes possible and shows the governor the giant man-made centipede. The governor is completely appalled by what he sees. Accountant further explains the objective of their program to the governor. It's then revealed that Daisy is accidentally sewn to the centipede as well. Accountant is heartbroken about this, while Bill brushes it off. Out of the prisoners serving life sentences, not only was a human centipede developed, but they have also created a human caterpillar. The only difference between this and a human centipede is that the inmates' limbs have been amputated, rendering them immobile, hence making them look like a caterpillar. They proceed to the clinic, present an inmate who has finished his prison sentence, and let the governor see what's after being administered in the human centipede punishment. The inmate shows minor injuries, indicating that Bill is proposing to use this as a standard punishment in prison. Before departing the prison in complete revulsion, the governor comes to the conclusion that accountant and Bill should receive the death penalty, since they are clearly insane and had just violated human rights. Bill wants to pin the blame on accountant, as this was his idea, but the governor doesn't want to listen to them anymore. After a while, Bill is planning to shoot himself in the head when he stops to point the gun to accountant. The doctor comes and laughs at the failure of the program, so Bill shoots the doctor and kills him instead. But after a while, they are surprised when the governor comes back to the clinic. Apparently, the governor has a change of heart and tells them the program is exactly what America needs and will make America great again. But what's more important, it may even get him elected as the president. He congratulates Bill and finally leaves the ward. Accountant and Bill are seen enjoying their triumph, knowing that their program worked and that they aren't going to get fired anymore. Accountant attempts to claim credit for the program, even though it was really indeed his idea in the first place. But Bill shoots and kills him so that he can take all the credit. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.